Well, not all art hangs on a wall. Some you can walk on, including some art that's made in Vermont. Here's Gina Bullard. It might be fitting that inside this old farmhouse lies an age-old craft. Lisa Curry Mayer makes hand-painted floor cloths. What happened before linoleum was invented, they used canvas to make rugs. And um, when linoleum came along, the floor cloth sort of disappeared. And now I'm reviving it and bringing it back. And it's not an easy process. The rugs start out with heavyweight canvas, which she shrinks, primes, cuts, and sews hems on. Next, she paints them with a base coat of maritime paint. Then comes the fun part. It's relaxing. We do a lot of just basic checkerboards. People seem to love the just the rhythmical pattern of it. How do you get your lines so straight? Uh, just practice. <laughs> it's really a matter of having the paint the right consistency and using the right brush. Another hot selling design is the Mariner's Compass. It is often used for floor cloths because they used old sails off of ships when they started making them. So they had a lot of nautical themes. Mayor has the durable rugs throughout her studio and home. This one's called the Medfield Stencil and it's from a, a floor stencil design from the 1830s in Massachusetts. Now, they're really pretty like this one. I'm afraid to walk on it. Can we walk on it? <laughs> you can walk on it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that one is about 12 years old, and it's been out here, um, and I take it to shows, and people walk all over it there. A thick protective layer is the final stage to make them tough enough to stand up to things like dirt, kids, and FedEx deliveries. Well, the one in the dining room is probably my favorite one. Upkeep is easy. Soapy water does the trick. Mayor sells the rugs all over the United States, but says the hot spot is down south to traditional homes. This day, she was working on a 40 by 12 foot piece for a museum in Mississippi. I love working on the big ones, yeah. Yeah, it's a real challenge. And um, to see it in, in a historic home where it takes up the whole room and people coming in and seeing it, it's, it's pretty neat. Her smaller designs cost around 250. Larger ones go from 1500 and up. Mayor takes custom orders for the rugs. She likes to incorporate pictures or stories that people tell her into the design. Her favorite one is in her dining room. It represents our house. It, this is our house on this side, and on that side has my barn. And she'd be lying like a rug if she said she didn't love doing it so close to home. Just living at home, making something and selling it. Um, it it's not a strange thing for Vermont, and Vermont really supports people who do that kind of thing and I feel very at home and very lucky to be able to do that. A 14th century craft that's still flooring people today. Gina Buller, Channel 3 News, Weathersfield. Wow, they are so cool. Well, for more information, you can visit the Info Center at WCAX.com.